Hey guys, Final Gaming Stay here, and today I'll learn about another tarantula law. So let's react to this video. So what are these Brazilian black tarantulas? Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to care for a Brazilian black tarantula, the Gramostola pulchra. This is Megan, my juvenile female and she does need a larger enclosure so I have just put one together for her and I thought why not make a video for you guys so yeah she has just climbed out of the enclosure by herself but this is a docile species so as long as she doesn't wander off somewhere there's nothing to worry about so yeah to care for this species you need this object to be dry they do not like it wet and if it is too damp they will spend all their time either on top of the hide or with the decoration you've got in there or against the side of the enclosure. Okay. So what I did was left this substrate to dry out for a couple of weeks and now it is pretty dry so it should be ideal for her. And as well as the substrate you will need to include a hide. I've just used a piece of cork bark there or you can buy hides from Exoterra or other companies. And the other thing you need to include is a water dish. I've just used a milk bottle top there and filled that with water. And then I've got a couple of artificial plants in the enclosure just for decorative purposes. The spider doesn't really mind if you put any fake plants in there or not, but I think they do look a bit better, make the enclosure look more interesting. So yeah, that's the setup. The other thing to notice is there are ventilation holes drilled all down the side of the enclosure and around the back and then into the lid as well because this species does like it to be dry so you don't want there to be too much humidity building up in there or you could just use an exoterra enclosure because they already have plenty of ventilation built in so yeah let's go and get the spider she actually decided to climb back into her old enclosure so the plan is just to try and persuade her to climb the side again and this time she'll go into the new enclosure wow. ok here goes I do handle one. see they are quite a calm species and she's not too worried about me moving a hide also, I'm gonna go on this time it's so there we go so now I'm just going to very gently touch her on the abdomen in the hopes that she will climb aside. And head straight into the new enclosure. There she goes. Very calm transfer, and looks like she's gone straight for the cork bark. This species is very popular because they are the black beauties of the tarantula hobby, and they are very slow growing. And these two factors combined have kept the prices up because it takes a good five or more years for a female to reach adult size. However, they are docile and very easy to care for. So they do make a good first choice for somebody entering the hobby. This species does like to move substrate around, so I'm not expecting the enclosure to stay looking like this for very long. I'm sure that she'll probably bury the water dish and dig up these plants that I've nicely arranged for her. In my experience, this species rarely kicks hair, and even if they do, Gramostola hairs are generally very mild compared to some other species of tarantula so you haven't really got much to worry about okay. however adult females do have very large fangs Whoa. large enough to rival the Therophosa species in size so I wouldn't really recommend handling a large female even though they are docile I don't think it's really worth getting bitten so yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed watching. 
thought I'd do another care video for you guys. And if there are any species you want me to talk about, then just leave a comment below and they will feature in a future video. So yeah, the substrate I've used is just the coconut fibre. But that is only one option. There are plenty of other things you can use as substrate. And I will post a link to a video from Tarantulas Plural that goes a lot more in-depth as to what substrates you can use. So I'd recommend checking that out. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed watching. And I shall see you again soon. Also, I'll give a shout out to LL Nobles, which is, which helped me from the UNSD. He really helped me and saved my um, YouTube career. So yeah, um, I'm going to have to find that. added little horns to it. I even added a dungeonous crab. And a crocodile and an alligator. Also a black racer. Cobra snake monkey. Neon galaxy. Maybe I'm going to see these. even added a tarantula. So yeah. Take care guys. Goodbye. Bye.